morning, family. Today is Wednesday, and um, not gonna be much of a vlog today. I did work out, and um, just wanted to share something with you. Somebody really wise and very close to my heart challenged me to do something last night, and um, just some of the stuff that I've been struggling with, I just openly told them, and uh, some of the things in my head that I hear daily that tries to discourage me and keep me from moving forward. And they told me something simple, and they said to write it down. Whatever the battles are in your head, whatever the battles that you're going through, he said, they said, write them down. And once you write them down, look at them and see if they're really worth fighting for. See if there's even a reason to fight for it, because some of this stuff is out of your control completely. So why fight for something that's out of your control? So anyway, I did that, and um, I know it's gonna be really open and blunt, but I wanted to share a few of them with you. And um, just know this isn't anything negative. Uh, this is not discouraging at all, uh, but maybe it's a, a way for me to have my you know, spiritual eyes opened uh, to some of the lies, some of the things that I hear every day. Number one, that I can't control. Number two, maybe realizing some of the things that I can and working on those. But um, anyway, here, um, the first one I wrote was, um, I'm not a good enough provider for my family. Uh, I think as a man, uh, it's just something that we struggle with constantly on a daily basis. You know, I always tell my wife, like, of all the guys you could have married, huh? You know, when we're going through financial hardships or whatever it might be. And um, I really think that's something pressing on all men, really, to where we want to be able to provide the best for our families, provide the best future for our children. And sometimes it's just not there. And it um, makes me even think like, man, I wish I would have gone to college, or man, I wish I would have done this or done that. And that's no way to live your life. Uh, you know, I really truly believe that every, everything happens for a reason, so. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going. Um, number two, I'm a full-time employee and I'm a part-time parent. Uh, this is something that I've just been struggling with recently. Uh, I've been working a ton of hours and I feel like I barely see my kids now through the week. And I know it's important to provide for your family, but where does the line stop to where, you know what I mean? You say enough is enough. Like I have to make priorities in, you know, in my life. Like this is important to me. And right now I can't really do that. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm completely thankful for my job and I am thankful for where God's brought me. Uh, but it's just something that I've been, you know, I've been struggling with. Uh, number three, if I can't be faithful to God here, why would he ever give me something better? And this is not just about like my job, but this is about my life, like where he has me right now. You know, I know God has great dreams and he has great things that he wants me to do in this life, but if it's impossible for me to continue to be faithful to him and serve him and live for him while I'm in this stage of my life, why would he move me to the next stage of my life? Um, just something to think about. Uh, number four, uncertainty and not being able to trust God with my future. Uh, this is a big one, especially as of late. There's a lot of uncertainty in the next few months. Um, of what we're even going to be doing as far as my wife and I and our children and everything. And I know we've been down this road before and everything's always worked out, but still, you know, you worry about stuff that you have no control over and what's going to happen is going to happen anyway. And it's so hard for us to just take our hands off of the situation and allow God to do what he does. And that's, he always works things out for the best. So even saying that, I'm kind of even preaching to myself right now. Um, because I know it's faithfulness. I know that we've been at a crossroads before and not really known what to do, but he always works it out. So I don't even know why I worry, but maybe it's just part of me being human. Number five, and this one kind of hits home for me, especially with the journey that I've been on. Um, says, I will always be the fat guy trying to make, for, make up for his appearance with his humor and personality. I have been big my whole life. And I have stood out in crowds and I've been in crowds and with friends 
and I've always been the guy that was, you know, funny, and that's cool. I mean, I, I feel like God's blessed me with humor and um, being able to relate to people. I, I feel like God's blessed me with those gifts, but it's always been out of an insecurity that I've acted out. Like, I've always acted out, like, that way out of uh, insecurity. And um, it's not who I am. I want to act that way because that's what God's blessed me with, not because I feel insecure about who I am if that makes any sense. And I just, that's windy out, I just lost my list. And the last one, number six, says, I will live and die and never really make an impact on anyone or anything. And I know right there that that is like a huge lie just from the enemy. But you really think sometimes, you look at your life, you're like, man, what am I doing here? Like, what do I have to offer to anybody right now? Even our own personal struggles get in the way, and we're like, how can I relate to anybody? How can I encourage anybody? Because this is what I'm dealing with. And I know that that's a lie, and I know that God works things out for those that he loves. And I know that God has dreams and plans for our lives. But even sometimes we walk in disobedience, or maybe we fall, or maybe we fail God in a certain area of our lives. And then that shame game comes in, that whisper in your ear that's like, man, you're not good enough. What are you doing here? Like, what do you have to offer? What are you doing right now with your life? And I know that that's not of God. And with that, the only thing I can do that I know is to use God's word. You know what I mean? Use God's word uh, to fight against any, any kind of voice that is not of him. You know, for so many people, like, they've lived their whole lives listening to so many voices that are not of God, and that is why they are in the situation that, are in, that they're in. They walk in defeat. They walk in discouragement. That's not, that's not the God that I serve, and I know that. But still, as this whole list will show you and tell you, I am completely human, and the same struggles that you face the same struggles that I face. With that being said know that this is not negativity this is not discouragement um if anything this is maybe just for me to like open my eyes and even make it known make it um put it in word form so i understand it at least a little bit more and to you know know that it's not where i've been but it's where i'm going and i know that god has so many better things for my life he has so many better things for my future if i just trust him and i do my best to live for him you know, he knows that we're going to fail. He knows that we're going to fall short. But if we constantly do our best to be transparent with God and relevant with God, I really think that that's what God wants from us, to be open and honest with him. You know, David in the Bible, despite his many flaws, he was honest and relevant with God. And in doing so, he was considered a man after God's own heart. And that, that's exactly where I want to be. Anyway, today is Wednesday. I love you. If uh, you guys watched all the way through this, I appreciate it. This is me kind of just uh, opening up, sharing my heart, and letting you guys know that, you know, there is so much more out there for us to see. There's so much more out there for us to do with our lives. God has a plan, and he has uh, dreams for us, the dreams that he's already put in our hearts for to reach people, to see things change, to accomplish things in our lives like there's those dreams are there for a reason because God put them there so know that today is just a new opportunity to see those things come to pass a new opportunity to move forward and step closer to those goals and dreams in your life I love you guys today's going to be a long day so I'm just going to cut it here um, I know it's not much of a vlog but I just needed to share my heart this morning love you guys thank you so much fight for what matters in your life be encouraged and be an encouragement today. Bye.